Welcome back to F1 Manager 2022. Today I will show you what happens if you put your reserve driver in your practice seat and how you can actually do it. First you need to be in practice 1. The other practice sessions won't work. If you want to try your reserve driver and give them some experience. As it states here, you will earn some boosted experience and will pass the car part knowledge that he gains and the setup confidence on to Ocon. So let's get Piastri now in for the session and go to practice 1. So as you can see, I already did a stint with Piastri and this is the driver experience he gains while doing the FP1 session. This driver experience is important to get knowledge points and actually boost your driver stats up later on. And this is the only way how you can get them onto a reserve driver. You can only drive out on P1, remember, P2 and P3 are not for the reserve driver as well as the qualifying and the race sessions. Your reserve driver can only drive out on P1 and get experience there. That's how you can make your reserve driver a better driver for when you need him later on in your contract, maybe as a main driver. The setup knowledge and the car knowledge, or the setup confidence and the car knowledge, will be the same as uh, the one from Ocon, so you won't lose anything there really. Ocon will lose some experience, of course, but the experience a reserve driver can gain is capped at 500. So once you got 500, you are already at maxed out. So as you can see, now I'm at the end of P1 and there is something different here because Oscar Piastri is our reserve driver, he has no performance bonus, he won't need any performance bonus because he won't be able to participate in the race, but as you can see driver development is maxed out and that's the experience he gained. There's also some info on the right side if you want to get a bit more knowledge about what I meant, what you can use driver development for. Look so you're right, pause the video. Other than that when we go on to practice 2 now, we can't replace our driver because that can only be done in practice 1 and Ocon or Alonso or your driver that set out in P1 will be back in the driving seat. Okay now so here we are at the end of the race. And this is the driver experience screen you all know. Ocon got a bit less experience because he wasn't in FP1 but as you can see Oscar Piastri because of his growth potential got a lot of experience. 890, 850, no wait, 895 in total. That's why it's pretty useful to put your reserve driver, especially if he has a good growth potential, into your FP1 seat and sacrifice one of your existing drivers, at least once in a while. So yeah, that's how you get your reserve driver up to speed for the real deal later on if you replace him with one of your existing drivers. Hope it helped you and goodbye.